What is up everybody, it's your boy Brittany Truth here and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of WWE 2K20 This is episode 2 I wonder how long it's going to be until I start losing track But in our very first match we have the Authors of Pain taking on the New Day Oh, your boy's the new day. That's SmackDown Live. No. Why? Why are the entrances? Entrances should be off. Off. Whoa, Kofi. Match is underway. Big E and I think it's Akum. Yeah, it's Big E and Akum. Akum dropped with a nice big boot dropping Big E. Big E plants Akum to the mat. Never hand punch. Another one. Mang and strike. Make him push his biggie away. Nice knee lift and a kick to the chest. Oh, big boot. Another big boot. And just laying in strike after strike. Just trying to keep Rezar down. I mean, ache him down. Big E. Nice belly to belly suplex to Ake and what strength was just shown by Big E. Now you get multiple stomps. I don't know what Big E was looking for there. But didn't work. But now Big E trying to fight back in. Oh, that did not even affect Akum. Big E. Suplex. Oh, Big E. The big splash. And that will seal the deal on this tag team. That's when they just destroyed them. However, the match was kind of... Big E versus Aiken. <laughs> okay. That counts as music. It's trash. I'm gonna go ahead and exit so I can turn off the entrances. Except for, of course, you know, title matches and, and shit like that, stuff like that. I'm trying to keep the show PG. There's only a few words that I can say that are PG. Entrance is off. Entrance is off. Leave that one on. Not because Prince Truth is in it, but because this Universal Champion is in it. It's kind of, <laughs> kind of counterproductive because maybe that's not the right term. What I said kind of don't make sense because Prince Truth is the Universal Champion, but I said it's not because Prince Truth is in it. Um, I kind of don't want to play this match, but I'm going to. This match, the reason I don't want to play it is because there's a this is, this is a number one contenders match. But um, it's gonna be uh, Sasha Banks versus Charlotte Flair versus Ronda Rousey. A winner of this match will get a shot this Sunday in a TLC 
at, at TLC against Butterfly for a SmackDown Women's Championship. I'm not sure if it will be in a TLC match, but I guess we'll see on Sunday. Alright, we'll be playing this match as Banks. Nice clothesline from Banks. Oh, drops her onto the knee and just being stretched out. Ronda Rousey looks like she's in a bit of trouble. And the same move applied to her. Nice face buster from Banks. Took a look back at Ronda Rousey. Face first right into the mat. Charlotte Flank Charlotte Flanks. Yep. Yep. Banks trying to really stay on her opponents here. And right now Charlotte rolling out of the ring, possibly to take a breather. Suplex to Rousey, looking for early cover. Just a one count. Charlotte Flair coming back into this match. Nice kick. And knee right to the head and Charlotte gets a hold of Sasha. Sasha rolls out to the outside. Face buster from Flair and I still have the wrong title on this. If you're watching this live, I have the wrong title and I'm so sorry. Knee lift. Nice drop kick. Sasha Banks, playing in forearms. Kick to the gut, another forearm. Nice punch to the face. In front forearm, but she misses. Looks like a knocked out Charlotte Flair. Charlotte Flair rolling to the outside again. Oh, Rousey looking for a toy. Getting a sledgehammer. Oh, and, start, and now Sasha has to try to avoid that. Sasha Banks. Just a two count. The Charlotte just grabbed a chair right out here next to us. That's changed her mind. She doesn't want to use it. Nice suplex. Oh my gosh. That was impressive on Charlotte's behalf. Throwing that at Charlotte Flair. Now Sasha going to the outside looking for a weapon. What do I want? I want a chair. I'm going to grab this chair and I'm going to take the other chair in. Don't you dare pin her. Sasha Banks grabbing a chair. Even though there was a chair right next to her, she didn't really need to go into the ring for that. Sasha Banks drops Ronda Rousey. Oh, no. Ronda Rousey trying to build some momentum. Unable to do it as Sasha hits another one legged drop kick for a suplex. And it connects. Knee right to the head. Oh, right to the gut. And a nice DDT right onto the chair. Sasha seems a bit tired, but she has to. 
Charlotte looking for another weapon doesn't even realize what's going on in the ring. I hate that so much. Kick right to the gut. Charlotte Flair slams her face right onto the table. Charlotte looking to become number one contender. Might just get it. No! Sasha Banks kicks out. I thought that was it. Rousey doesn't even know what just hit her. I don't know what Sasha Banks is doing here. What are you doing? No. I got... I had a plan, but it didn't work. Roger Banks setting up the table once again. Makes it so mad. Tied it up, Sasha. You're making me mad. She sets it up there. Screw it, I'm only gonna do this to Charlotte anyway. Maybe I'm not. If Sasha catches Charlotte, why can't I slam her? Why won't you slam me down? That made me mad. What is this game doing to me? It's like maybe Charlotte was trying to put Sasha through the table. Sasha Banks. Looking to put Ronda Rousey through the table. And we're going to see this again right here. She went right through it before she even hit it. But now looking to become number one contender for the SmackDown Women's Championship. And Banks is going to TLC. I thought I thought Charlotte had it right off that move. Charlotte Flair and Ronda Rousey were unable to defeat the odds here. I don't want to exit. No, 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 no. I changed my mind. Can I? No. Okay. Up next, we have two powerhouses going one on one with each other. We get Sheamus. And Rusev. And with another match, I will be playing. I will be playing as Sheamus. I will not be playing the main event because the Universal title is on the line. However, I think that's dumb because TLC is coming up. I'm just saying. Not just because my title is in jeopardy in a fatal four way, but. Matches underway. Bruce is wasting little time to go after Seamus. Bruce went for a double axe handle, but Seamus rolls out of the way and goes right to work. Seamus gets caught. He's over the top rope, hangs on. Nice kick to the gut and then over her hand right to the back. Picks up Rusev again. Now going to work. Laying a strike after strike after strike. Now 
Bo wszystko to mniej. Elbow drop to the back. Lang and strikes. Hanging on the top rope and then drops. Shame is just being absolutely brutal. Snake eyes. Up high knee dropping the Bulgarian brute. A Rusev day pants going. I think Rusev is about to lose on Rusev day. Dropping him right over and over and over again on the knee. Now Seamus looking for a cover. Now there's another easy win. Exit. God dang it. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Oh, I, I didn't. But up next. Man, you can't even see the champion's face. Well, I mean, the champion's face is covering the champion's face because I am technically Prince Truth. But the Universal Championship is on the line here tonight. When Drew McIntyre faces Braun Strowman faces Shinsuke Nakamura faces the Universal Champion Prince Truth it's trash I'm skipping these entrances these are two very iconic entrances but it's not the same without the music. <laughs> right. And there comes the prince himself. On his way to the ring. From Charleston, West Virginia. Weighing in at 155 pounds. He is the Universal Champion, Prince Truth. Prince Truth on his way to the ring in a very, very extreme contest. I don't know how Prince Truth is going to manage to survive. Showing, out, showing everyone that he's a universal champion. Get these hands, chance. A free show on the prize. That, that title's not. No, that title's not going nowhere. It's not. Prince is the best wrestler. Whoever set foot in the ring. Title's not going nowhere. If he calls for the bell, oh, Prince Truth gets hit with the knee. And Marsh Roman gets dropped. The match is underway. Oh, straight front kick. Drops Prince Truth. As Drew McIntyre takes this match to the outside with Braun Strowman. And Prince Truth really getting his ass kicked right now. Strowman laying in kicks. Ooh, right into the stairs. Strowman goes. Oh, oh, Prince Truth got knocked out right there.
Oh, oh hangs on the top of the globe and then drops right down from that. Oh, keep right to the head. Prince Truth has just been getting destroyed in this match so far. Hasn't touched Nakamura yet. He touched anybody for that matter. And he goes to the outside and he comes right back in. His Drew McIntyre threatens to hit him. No, I swear I'll do it. You're in a match. Hit him. Prince Truth starting to realize he might be in some trouble here. Going under the ring. You know, he got a kendo stick. That's his. Oh, nope. If it was really Prince Truth, he would have got a kendo stick. I'm just, pu I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> Maybe it's not really Prince Truth. I'm kidding. Prince Truth sends Shinsuke into the Abram. Prince Truth gotta, has to keep in mind that he can't keep this match on the outside. There's two other guys who want this match just as bad as him and Shinsuke do. This match can only be won inside the ring. So Prince Truth really taken care of Nakamura. Von Sherman steps right over Drew McIntyre. Sling blade on the outside from Prince Truth. Elbow drop. Prince Truth has to use his speed in this match. Well, I mean, I guess Shinsuke is also very fast. Prince Truth just keeps throwing Shinsuke right into the steps. Von Sherman picks up Drew McIntyre. What's he going to do here? Again, Prince Truth sends Shinsuke right into the steps. Shinsuke sends Truth across the arena. El throws Drew McIntyre across the ring. Drew McIntyre dropped him once again by Braun Strowman. Prince Truth and Shinsuke just kind of walking around on the outside. Shinsuke got the hammer. Prince Truth seems a little caught up in the ropes. Takes the hammer right off Shinsuke. Plants Shinsuke down. Nice kick to the back. I don't know where Prince Truth is going. I'm going right after Drew McIntyre. DDT. Nice. Lying and kick. Some truth. Now targeting Shinsuke once again. Von Strowman comes up the ring with a hammer. He drops it. Jawbreaker to Von Strowman from Prince Truth. All these men are fighting each other. Prince Truth once again looking under the ring for a toy. What are you going to do with the ladder in this match? We have a preview for uh, Sunday. Prince Truth. Comes back into the ring. Oh. Oh. Picked up. Prince Truth and lets him down. Well, I guess Drew stopped that submission hold. Oh my god. Oh, what strength from Drew McIntyre. See, this is almost like a video game. You guys can see this stuff in like 2K20. Prince Truth now. Get the headbutt delivered. And drop Prince Truth face first into the canvas. Drew McIntyre. Setting up the chair between the turnbuckles. Was off the ribs, bumps into Shinsuke. Shinsuke wasn't, I wasn't completely ready for him. Prince Truth now working on getting up as Von Strowman comes back into the ring. Prince Truth going right after Von Strowman here. 
Oh, Prince Ruth looking to end this here. Prince's drop kick for the cover. Prince Truth retains the universal title. I never doubted him. Prince Truth retains the universal championship. Oh. Shinsuke got a little too busy with Drew McIntyre. But that is going to do it for this episode, guys. I thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys ever missed anything, you guys want to catch up on everything, you can head over to my YouTube channel at Friends Truth if you're not there already. And if you haven't done it already, hit that subscribe button, turn on those push notifications so you never miss an episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, guys, I am out.